Okay guys, as promised, um, I was going to take you through the different steps in creating a basic axe model um, in Maya 2016. Okay, if you followed the previous tutorial, you would have seen um, the different steps that we'll be using to create this axe and the different tools. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Google, just type in axe and go to images. Now, I do this tutorial quite a lot to start with because um, it's quite a simple one to do. It shows you how to just follow uh, a shape to create a simple object in Maya. And this is the axe that I normally do. It's not really a complex shape. Um, so it's not as complex as, say, um, one of these where you have to go over the shape, essentially. It's just a cartoon axe. Okay? So. What you want to do is save the image, put in your pictures folder, like so. Okay, and go into Maya. Now, if you press space, you want to put it in your side view here. Okay, so when you press space, it opens up the four other um, cameras in your scene. So you've got your perspective camera, your top view, your front view, your side view. We're going to focus on the side view. Okay, if you want to go back to one perspective and just focus on that one, you click on the perspective and press space, like so. Okay, so go into side view. To get that image in, you go to view, here, image plane, import image, and then you've got to find that where you save that image essentially. So I believe I saved mine in pictures. And it was images. There we go. Okay, so that axe has been imported now. Okay, I'm just going to make it bigger. Okay, which you can do by clicking the scale tool, if you remember before. Okay, so for this. I am going to turn um, interactive scaling off for this bit. Okay, so if you go to create polygon primitives, if there's no tick, that means intera interactive creation is um, not enabled. So the cube will come out with just the basic small shape, so one by one by one scale. Okay, so I'm going to click on cube at the top, and there is our cube. Okay, and I want to drag using the middle bit, using the move tool, which is W, onto the handle of the axe, like so, and just rotate it on the red, like so. So it pretty much follows the outline. Okay, as you can see there. Okay, so if you just go into your perspective you like that you'll see the cubes in there as well okay so it's pretty much got the correct scale we want so far for our handle um, I'll be mainly following the um, lines of the handle like so uh, the black outlines okay so in our perspective view with our object selected hold right click and click on face okay we'll focus on the bottom part of the handle first. So if you click on face here, the bottom one, okay, and go into your side view by clicking space, clicking on the side view, and you want to click extrude, which we did before, okay? And all you want to do is you want to drag it down like so, okay? Once it starts going away from um, the black line, so it's not following the shape, you just want to move it on the green movement tool and just click scale and move it on the blue. Okay, like so. Okay, so it still maintains that shape like that. Okay, so I might want to just bring that in slightly. Doesn't have to be pitch perfect, guys. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is right click vertex, hold shift, click that vertex and just bring it in slightly so it's starting to follow the shape of the handle more. I'm going to do the same for that one. So hold shift, drag, left click and bring that in like that. Okay, go back into your perspective view, right click face, extrude, go back into your side view and drag down again so you're following the shape a bit more. Okay, um, good practice in 3D modeling guys is making sure you have um, straight lines um, for your subdivisions. Okay, this is um, called topology. Um, the straighter the lines, the easier this whole process is to manage. Okay, so let me um, scale this like so. You see, it's still maintaining the shape. Okay. Now, if you click extrude again without going into top view, because we've still got that face selected, just keep dragging down, guys, moving, following the shape. So drag down, move it out, drag it down a bit more, make it centered, and scale up like so. Hold shift, hold right click, click vertex. And you want to. Just click on that one, use the move tool, bring that in, bring that in like so. Okay, go back into your perspective view, hold right click face, click on that face, click extrude, bring that down, move it forward, scale it up. As you can see, it's, see, it's still maintaining that shape. It's not following the black line um, to pinpoint precision, but it's still following that shape currently. So, click extrude again, bring it down, move it around like that, extrude, like so. Okay, again, click extrude bring it down and you want to move it to the right like that okay maybe bring it up slightly to about there and then hit scale drag it like that okay what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna right click click vertex and just move this one up so shift drag and select just bring that one up slightly and we're going to bring that one up as well so the line is straighter okay so go back into your perspective hold face right click and bring that one down so extrude again and I'm going to extrude this one to about there okay and then scale it as much as we can like like so okay <coughs> now if you go back into your perspective view and hit 3 in your keyboard you'll see it's got quite a good shape at the moment so what 3 in the keyboard does is give you the smooth version of that object so the more subdivisions you have so that's more edges vertexes and faces and um, the smoother the object will be okay so that looks all right at the moment if I wanted to get this shape a bit more accurate what I would do is with the object selected so go to object mode I would go into I would create more edges along this row to just bring it out so it's following the shape a bit more okay to do that you go to uh, mesh tools insert edge loop and then you excuse me um, mesh tools insert edge loop I've got 
too many edges at the moment. I only want one. Okay. Um, yours would be set to that automatically. So let me click reset tool there. Okay. Mesh tools. Insert edge loop. Okay. Just want to create a couple more edges. So all you do is you just click on the lines here and let go. And make sure you hit the selection tool to remove the insert edge edge loop to otherwise you're going to have edge loops all over the place. And OK, so with them edges selected you just want to scale it out like so. OK. So it's got the better shape. OK. So, let's focus on the top bit now. I'm not going to be <coughs> discussing much of the top bit now, guys, because um, essentially the top section of this is pretty much like the bottom section, pretty much. So if you want to go back and look at the steps we've taken to create the bottom half, you should be able to create the top half independently. Okay, so remember we're using... Um, Extrusions mainly, using move tool, scale tool, and using vertexes every now and again. Okay, so we need to click on the top face first, hit extrude, and go back into your side room. Let's move that up. We can move that up quite a bit actually and just keep the movement, scale it there. Okay, <coughs> let's keep going, drag it up, keep it going, scale it there, move it, scale it a little bit, like so, okay, drag it up again, using the extrude tool like so, Move it in, scale it, extrude again, bring it up, up like so, move that in, that one needs to be, do it straight to the top guys, and as before, click on scale, and let's just One second, guys. So, click it extrude once more, bring that up, go to the side, and then hit scale. Let's uh, bring it in like that. Maybe just bring that down to about there. As before, you can make um, some edge loops around here to get the shape a bit more accurate. If I just take you into your perspective view, like so, click on object mode, click free. As you can see, it's pretty much got the correct shape. So that's our handle done, guys. Okay. So <clears throat> in the next tutorial, we're going to focus on the um, blade part. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Or if you're feeling confident enough, why don't you create the handle? yourself. Okay, thanks for watching.